Waiting for him to come running out of the house. Thank 
reenacted is that General Morgan spent his last night here. When he got up the next morning, he found out that the area was surrounded by Union troops, and he tried to get away. He did under the Episcopal Church, actually, down here. And then when the troops were in the Episcopal Church, he tried to make a run to get his horse over on Depot Street at the livery station. He um, uh, was going across this yard and uh, was spotted by Private Andrew Campbell, an individual in the brown oh, uniform over there. And when they spotted him, they shot him in the back. And then, uh, actually, he was hauled on a horse down through the Crescent Dueling Ground on the west end of town, and then brought back here to the uh, Williams Mansion to be in uh, to be prepared for burial. Uh, they are going to move the body now into the uh, Williams Mansion, and they'll be embalming it, and then they'll have a viewing that the public is invited to attend. Uh, walk through both the Union and the Confederate from this area, bid uh, them uh, pay their respects to the uh, to the general. He was moved then the next day to Jonesboro by wagon because the railroad was not in position here. And he was put on a train at, at Jonesboro to move the body back to Abington where he was first in town for a couple of days and then moved on to the Veteran Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia, Hollywood Cemetery, where he was buried until after the war. After the war, Morgan's family, not Morgan's family, had his body moved from the Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond back to the uh, family lot in Lexington, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. That's where it's been uh, back. So uh, when uh, they get through the uh, moving the body, uh, we'll have the mansion set up to let people walk through and pay their respects. And Uh, I'm Philip Bishop. I'm a member of the 6th Tennessee U.S. Infantry. Uh, we were portraying the 13th Cavalry today. Uh, we, what you saw was a reenactment of Morgan's death. Uh, if you have any questions, I can help with any uh, questions related to Bible action. Who was the dirty rock below down? Well, we actually drew lots to see who would do that. <laughs> Uh, really, it was Morgan's staff that would have been here, which would probably been close to about 20 individuals, including we would have had a detachment of, uh, of sergeants that would have uh, been armed with them. Uh, from the 13th side, they came in basically in a full company strength, which would have been a large size pool, about 100 men on our side, taking him out. Uh, yeah, a uh, Union supporter of Greenville had got word to the 13th He made a mistake in that he left really his brigade to come in here with not enough forces, realizing that there was a sizable Union force nearby, which is really the tragic mistake he made on his part. Well, I point out that That's how they unload it. This shit.
How are you, dear? Good. How are you? To wear a little tail. <laughs> so that they could each have a piece to take home as a prize. Savage. For taking down the thunderbolt of the Confederacy. Major Gossett, Captain Withers, had to go and plead for his body, and they brought him back here to the Williams house, and we do certainly thank you, Mrs. Williams, for the use of your home. The General's wife is in Abington, Virginia, and uh, once we've embalmed the body, we'll send for a casket down here at the furniture maker's shop here in town. And we'll casket the body and leave him on a train to send him to Virginia so that he can be with his wife. You'll have to tell us what they do. The embalming process takes about two hours. It's just important whether you have uh, a lot of blood left in the body or not. Fortunately, the general was mostly drained of all his blood before they brought him to the house here, being that he was shot in the heart. And we're just simply using a simple pump and uh, pump the embalming fluid into the veins. And as you can see, he has a very, very good color, a lifelike color. When they first brought him in the house, he was very gray. Uh, but the embalming fluid does a wonderful job of restoring a lifelike appearance to the, to the body. No one has any questions, we'll let you all file out. 